Hi, this is Zach Musgrave. I'm a software engineer at Dolt Hub. Today, we're going to be showing you how to get access to the Dolt command line from within your SQL session. I'm going to be using the Dolt SQL shell for this demo, but this should also work with any MySQL compatible SQL client. So first things first, we're going to create a new Dolt database. And the way we do this on the command line is creating a directory, seeding into it, and running the Dolt init command, which is the command that creates a Dolt database. If I run the dolt log command, you can see that I have committed a new database with an initial commit. Let's back up and do the same thing from the SQL shell. First, let's blow away that directory we just created. And then in the shell, we're going to run a create database statement with the same name. And then back on the shell, we can see that I have another database, different initial commit because it has a different timestamp but it did the same thing as the dolt init command. Now that we have a database, let's go ahead and put some data in it. I'm going to create a table here. Just a simple table with two columns and insert a couple rows into it. Okay, now that I have some data in my table, I wanna go ahead and commit those changes. If I was on the command line, I would run a command like this, dolt commit am, new table and data. But I'm in SQL, so I have to do something a little different. Um, instead of running that command directly, I'm going to run a SQL function that has the same name, so dolt underscore commit, and then all of my arguments to that dolt command line command just become parameters to the function. So when I run that statement, it creates a new commit and then returns the commit hash. If I drop out of the shell and go back on my terminal here, I can run dolt log and you can see that the same commit hash that you see here was the thing that was returned from my SQL shell. Let's go ahead and examine the commit history of the database directly from SQL next. So on the command line, I ran the dolt log command from my SQL session, I'm going to select from a special system table with the same name, dolt underscore log. And this table has a row for every commit in the commit history of the database. Pretty straightforward. And of course, it's just SQL. I can modify this to add limits and order buys and where clauses and whatever else I want. Next up, let's take a look at diffs. Uh, diffs are one of the most powerful features uh, from the, on the version control side of Dolt. So to see what they can do, first we need to create a diff by making some different data. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a new row and then update a row as well. Okay, and then back on my terminal, if I run the dolt diff command, I can see what I've changed since my last commit. So here I've added this row 5, 6, and I've changed the B column value in this row with the key 1. If I want to look at the same thing in SQL, just like before, I'm going to be selecting from a special system table. Um, and the name of the system table is dolt diff, followed by the name of the actual table you want to diff. So if I just run that command, I get a bunch of different lines. Uh, this is this table actually has one line or one row for every row in the physical table for every pairwise diff of commits in the commit history. So if I want this to show me the same thing that the command line did, I need to pair it down with a where clause. So where to commit equals uh, working. So this shows me just the two rows that have changed from my last commit my working changes. And I can also I can make this a little more useful by changing it from a select star to select the rows that I care about. So from A, from B, to A, to B. Now the output looks very similar to what we saw on the command line. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's, uh, let's reset these changes, undo the changes. Um, on the command line, I would do something like this. Don't reset hard. In SQL, it's very similar. Again, there's a function called dolt reset, 
and I give it the arguments that I want, and it returns a zero result, just like on the command line. And now I see if I run that same diff query, I don't get any results back. That means I've reset my changes back to the latest commit. Next up, let's take a look at branch management. So if we wanted to switch our branch on the command line, I would do something like this. Don't check out dash B with the name of the branch I wanted. And just, for the, just like before, we're going to change this to a SQL function and give parameters to it like so. And just like that, you can see I've, I've checked out this new feature branch. I can tell I did that by selecting uh, div underscore branch. You see it's the feature branch. So let's go ahead and create a diff on this branch by inserting some rows just like we did before. I'm using my SQL uh, shells command history here to avoid typing these in again. Okay, so I have a diff. Let's go ahead and run dolt diff. You can see it's the same diff as before. And then I'm gonna go ahead and commit those changes. Uh, made changes on feature. The bad commit message, but just a demo. Okay, so now I have a new commit on that new branch. Let's exit out of the shell. One thing to notice is when I'm back here on in my terminal, if I run dolt status, I'm still on branch main. When you do a, a dolt checkout in your SQL session, it only changes the branch for that session. It doesn't change what's happening on your, on your shell. Um, let's go ahead and merge that change back into the main branch through SQL. So the way we do this on the command line is we type dolt merge feature. Um, and again, this works very similar like we've seen throughout this demo. I change this into the dolt underscore merge function and select it like so. Uh, and it returned one, which uh, in this case tells me this was a fast forward merge. So now if I exit out of my shell and run dolt log, I can see here's my most recent commit that was added to main. So that's about all we have time for today. Um, hope this gives you guys an idea of how to access all of the power of the Dolt command line in your SQL context. There's a lot more we didn't have time to show. We'll be making more videos in the future. Uh, I hope you join us next time. And until then, have fun and join us on Discord.